Okay, this is a demonstration of the blanket stitch. This is what the blanket stitch looks like. Just want you all to see it before we start. It is a way to finish off the edge of something. Um, it can be decorative, it can be useful. We're gonna do it in kind of a big scale so that you can see how it works. But that's, that's the finished product we're looking for. For the sample, you'll need one piece of muslin, a threaded needle, and some snips. Snips will come in last, threaded needle, ready to go. We don't have to do any prep for this one. You do the blanket stitch along the edge of the fabric. And to start, I want all your stitches to come in about a quarter of an inch down from the edge. So, we come in through the back first. Pull that until your knot is in place. Then I want you to go right through, right next to that knot, right in the same place. So you come through the back twice. Once to get your knot to the fabric, the second time to go through right in the same place as the knot. And I want you to tighten that down, but straighten it up. These little fringy bits will try to keep your thread from the right place for a minute. And that's not great. Okay, now one more time through the back in that same place. But don't pull it all the way down this time. So all your thread will be up here. Sorry, fumble fingered today and all my thread is acting foolish. So, as you pull this down, let me get this so you can see, I am pulling this thread through the fabric and this loop is getting smaller and smaller, right? There's a front and a back side to this. I want you to, as your loop gets smaller, oh, sorry for the tangling, everyone. I want you to come through the back side of this loop. So that's gonna be like this, come through here. And what that's gonna do, and I'll pull straight up, and that should do that. Now, that's got you set to do the rest of your blanket stitching. As we go, your thread will stay over to the left side and you'll be taking a bite from the back every time here. See? Now as, as this all closes down, there's a loop back here. See that loop? It comes, well, let me lay it down. That loop of thread comes out of this knot that we made, whoop, and it comes in the back of the fabric, right? So as we pull it down, I want you to come in the back side of that loop and pull that up. And it should make a little twist and make your thread sit right on the top edge there. See that? Do the same thing again. Stitch from the back side. And as your thread loop gets smaller and smaller, come through the back side of the loop as well. And pull like that, and it locks down on the edge. Now you'll see, you'll know when to stop pulling when it gets right there. If you keep pulling, it'll just make a big bunchy mess. So again, from the back side, and then go through your loop from the back side, which means coming back down and around and up through there. You might have to practice this one a few times to get it but eventually it becomes really rhythmic and people do this as a decorative stitch on the edge of blankets a lot. Oddly enough, that's why it's called the blanket stitch. It's also just a nice way to finish off fabric. So, come from the back, and as your loop gets smaller, go through the back of your loop. Come from the back, and go through the back of that loop. Come from the back and go through the back of that loop. Now I say back of the loop because, see as we sew from the back to the front, I could go, well, now my loop's not showing very well. We're making this, I could go this way through the loop, but we don't want to do that. We want to go from the back of the loop. And I want you to just continue this all the way down one side. And when you're done, you'll knot off. 
Nodding off shouldn't be anything difficult. We've done it a bunch of times at this point. All right. So to do it, let's take one more stitch. Go through the back of the loop. All right. Now, to knot off, you just come back here. This on the back side of the fabric. This, you have to bring that down. You don't want to pull too much tension on that. Now we're going to make the tiny loops that we like to make for our knots. See how that works? One more. Trim your threads and you're done. That's the blanket stitch.